it's all sunshine in Tampa Bay. The region that is most popularly known for its beautiful beaches is now recognized as one of the U.S. most desirable entrepreneurial hubs. It is home to some of the country's largest companies, including Tech Data, J. Bull Circuit, Nielsen, Raymond James, and WellCare Health Plans. This is a city that instead of populating other cities with our talent, is now a place where intellectual capital wants to be. Tampa Bay is ranked number 18 on the top 40 metropolitan areas in the U.S. It is also among the highest on growth entrepreneurship at number 26, higher than Los Angeles and New York, which ranked 31 and 32, respectively. Its startup growth rate is projected at 71.4%, making it the largest and fastest growing tech hub in Florida. We also have a real focus on our small businesses and then help those who are already in our community uh, continue to grow and expand their business. Some of the keys for our success, though, has been being right here in Tampa, growing our business in the Tampa Bay area, taking advantage of the amazing amenities, the amazing talent, all of the resources that are available for a company to grow. Tampa Bay's startup community is valued at $2.3 billion. The market is incredible. And when I started Florida Funders, and in that period of time, it has grown exponentially. We're finding deals all over the state. We've raised about $20 million as a company through several different rounds. And the bulk of it is here in Tampa Bay. Additionally, Synapse, the region's innovation connector, is significantly contributing to the development of its ecosystems. Synapse as a platform is going to enable the entrepreneurs and the innovators to really innovate, think outside the box, and to give back to these large-scale corporations that have their headquarters here in Tampa Bay. So many companies that are building new innovative products, and just to see how many more people are involved in the ecosystem in the tech development side on top of it. To me, that's been the, the most exciting. The region was named the sixth most cost-friendly business location among large U.S. metros and has the third lowest labor cost in the country. It is ranked number 27 for top tech talent market, and it is projected to have a job growth of 55.3%. It is home to the University of South Florida, University of Tampa, Eckerd College, and Stetson University. We have some fantastic intellectual property, we have some fantastic mature companies, and we have some of the brightest people on earth here. It is also cited as the best city for women-owned businesses. We really started to look at the possibility of moving the company here, and we, we did some research and we made the leap um, in 2017, and we couldn't be more thrilled. We're, we're hiring so much faster than we could in Silicon Valley. Soon, Tampa Bay will be in competition with top tech cities in the U.S. We really put a lot of effort into trying to uh, help our entrepreneurs and our innovators who want to start something and then see it grow. In the Tampa Bay area and the tremendous energy and growth around building businesses including technology companies and the bold mentality of our population and there's just great things to come. I think very solid and we already are seeing the infancy of this is a greater level of economic growth because of it and Tampa Bay specifically has a really strong region to house that and to expand that uh, because we have the capacity here. This is taking that economy, changing the economic DNA, moving this community to the next step, creating the jobs of the future, not the jobs of the past, and making this a place where talent wants to be because if talent comes, companies come. If companies come, that's where the technology originates. More companies will discover that Tampa Bay offers an unmatched entrepreneurial ecosystem and growth necessary for them to succeed. For more great stories making bold impacts on our world, visit boldbusiness.com.